I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to aid him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Need Get our sword out and move on. Oh. See, that's the other thing about this mod, is that NPCs are actually useful. <laughs> you know, they actually do damage, because the damage model is being changed. Or the way damage is applied is being changed. Completely. Group style. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Let's not heal. Just yet. Pick up whatever they had. Coins. Food. Actually, I'll take that, because that'll... Restores three points of vitality, vitality per minute for four hours, okay? It can also be sold or given to someone. Yeah, this. Wow, food is actually useful this time around. Yeah. So a lot of things have changed. Um, did these guys have anything? No, doesn't seem like they do. Let's just move on, go to the basement. One more set of remains. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't travel us. We're cut off! The stairs are blocked! The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us! Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign! A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Okay. That's... Yeah, so you learn spells by clicking on these stones. And if you already have the spell, they amplify the strength of the whatever spell that the particular stone represents. So this is the art, the inverted triangle. Whispering stones. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. I'll hurry back and inform them about the these guys' intentions. Oh, oh, oh. And remove the. Oh, I guess they didn't just teleport in. I was assuming that they wouldn't have bothered with the actual 
collapsing archway. There's way more debris here than... Yeah, see, that's... Okay, whatever, let's move on. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. <sighs> okay, now, I'm not... I've played the game before. And I know the consequences of this particular decision. Um, but at the same time, I'm not planning on power playing this. After all, this is a role-playing role game. So, um, what I would do is I would head to the lab, because, you know, that's what the bandits are after. So... Yeah, the lab is important. I'm going with Triss. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. Uh-oh. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Defend the laboratory. Yeah, I'm sure these guys can handle that frightener. This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, now I'm going to need both healing and endurance, I think. So, swallow. And Tony Owl. Save the game. I'm getting poisoned. Red spots on the screen. So, I mean, what are these? Potion overdose. Parry and dodge chance reduced. Okay, well, this wasn't what I wanted, but I'm going to have to go with it. So I can't dodge at all. Great. At least my max vitality isn't reduced. Let's go. And here he comes. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Uh oh. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. And we'll kill these guys. No. 
Nobody messes with Salamandra. Nobody! How he set me on fire? So, <sighs> drinking all of those potions might have been a mistake, since the Thunderbolt already reduces my parry and dodge by 50, and now I've got this 25% reduction as well, in addition to that, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much in some deep shit, if you don't mind me saying. <clears throat> Strong style and take these out as quickly as I can. Difficult. Who would have known? Oh boy. So I wasn't dodging enough. And I don't have any other potions. Go no further, white one. A blue girl. if I can knock him over. So, I mean, that's what's killing me right now, is the fact that he keeps casting his spells. So this can't be skipped. You'll get go. This is terrible, but I'm not going to cut it because, well, <sighs> let's go. Yep. Strong style, quick.
fast as I. This is a small opponent. Go, no, I'm good. Yeah, see, I'm so that And he's in me on fire. Oh, I love this job. I bet you do. were magic lights I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer indeed I wanted to help but I couldn't break through that strange circle Savol is eating dirt that's what matters we need to help Triss let's go let's see if he had anything who transfer all and save for goodness sake <laughs> that was terrible Oh, apparel. Food. Yum yum nom nom. Oh. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mage is. I underestimated him. Hurry. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're getting away. Found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. Got away. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop. <laughs> Ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. 
It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers. And something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Hmm. I guess we should rest a bit. It reduces the toxicity of our blood, so might be a good idea. Or at least it should reduce it. I'm actually not at all sure. Um, but yeah, now... Character development. Basically, you get these talents that you assign, and you get more powerful. Um, I'm thinking I should be going for survivability in the beginning, like stamina, because it adds vitality and vitality regeneration plus resistances. So take that and that's probably yes. And some dexterity as well. Yeah, so Geralt is 50% more likely to be hit when attacked from the sides and back. These gold colored hints are added by the mod. So, they changed that up too. So, stamina and dexterity are going to be pretty important in the beginning. So, so dexterity and. Um, I might want to save that for now and just rest up a bit for an hour. That way, some of the specs might still be active when I wake up. So, but dexterity and stamina, and that's it. Did it work? Yeah, the toxicity is gone completely. No green up here whatsoever. And the negative effects are gone. Um, why are we... Oh, right. Wardrobe. Ooh, some... Swallow. Three. That's good. All that's missing is a mage who'd know how to use this. Yeah. Um. I'll be doing as much reading as I can. I mean, that's one reason why I'm doing this LP is my pronunciation is just so terrible that I need to get some practice. So tutorials, of course. Got monsters, locations, characters, quests. Oh. <laughs> I might want to read up on these before the prologue ends. Prologue ends. Trace Mary Gold. Actually, I'll do it now. So, Eskel. The calm and reasonable Witcher from Kaer Morhen is my peer. Wonder how he got that disfiguring scar. Lambert. The young witcher I met at Kaer Morhen sure has a biting tongue. He's rude, especially to Triss Marigold, who he addresses by her last name. So, very formal. Leo is the youngest of Kaer Morhen's residents. He's not a full witcher, though he has completed his training. He was not subject subjected to mutation yet. Leo comes across as a hot-headed whelp, but is also kind-hearted and good. It appears that Leo is somewhat fascinated with me. He has heard the ballads about the White Wolf and how 
now holds me in high regard. Leo was killed by the professor, one of the leaders of the assault on Kermoren. The boy was too hasty and in inexperienced. I wasn't able to help him, even though I was right beside him. Yeah. Um, an interesting note about Leo. In the original game, you know, before the Enhanced Edition patch, um, his voice was different. And the reason they changed his voice is because a bunch of fans complained about, complained about him sounding girly, okay? Now, I don't know whether that opinion was justified or not. I didn't really pay attention to it. But, you know, I guess... <sighs> no, whatever. Um, a mysterious mage, this guy. The mage attacked Ker Moren in order to steal the Witcher's secrets hidden in the fortress. One of the leaders of the forces that attacked Ker Moren was a mage so powerful that even Triss Marigold could not oppose him. The organization he, that he leads uses the symbol of a salamander. Now, how do we know this? How do we know that he's the leader? I mean, he, sure, he gave orders, but... And I didn't see any salamander badges, but I guess... You know. And there's the professor, who's one of the leaders of the salamandra. Again, how do we know this at this point in the game? Hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, attack on Ker Moren was a man called the Professor, who seemed to be a cunning assassin. The other leader was a mage. Yeah. And Triss Merigold. Along with me and the other witchers, Triss fought in the defense of Ker Moren. The sorcerer stood against the mysterious mage, one of the leaders of the assault. She was injured and lost consciousness. Ironically, Triss is allergic to magic, and she can only be administered natural healing potions. See, I never bothered to read these things before, and this was news to me. So that's interesting. Very. Um, formulae. Yeah, I should read these too, I guess. There's no bird more beautiful than the swallow, the harbinger of spring. Even the dark mages who developed the formula for Witcher's potions appreciated the charm of this bird, lending its name to the potion that accelerates regeneration of a mutated organism, so it doesn't work with normal humans. Tony Owl. In preparation for an all-night vigil at the sight of a cursed man, or before a battle which is certain to be prolonged, a Witcher mixes a dose of Tony Owl potion to boost his endurance. You've got these elements, basically, that make up different potions and different ingredients have different elements in them. Yeah. So it significantly increases endurance, regeneration, and endurance is used for magic, basically. I mean, it's... It's like mana in this game. Yeah, especially valued by witchers who often use signs in combat. And then there's the Thunderbolt. Witchers take this potion before fighting strong, heavily armored opponents. Imbibing Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt causes witchers to enter into a battle trance. While in this state, witchers attack more efficiently and cause greater damage, while at the same time neglecting their own defense and becoming an easier target. I'm... The only reason I drank this in the beginning is because the game requires you to. I'm probably not going to be using this a whole lot. Because I don't yet know whether I'm going for a spell build or a sword fighter spell. A sword fighter build. Um, considering how well <laughs> the previous fight went, I'm a bit hesitant about picking up a sword. Because, well, I mean, that was just terrible. Ingredients. Okay. Ether. Indicated in purple is a basic alchemical substance. It is found in many ingredients, including herbs, minerals, and monster parts. And the description is the same for every single one of these. Except for special ingredients. 
Mutagenic Witcher's potions require special ingredients obtained from rare monsters. These ingredients contain unique combinations of substances and thus cannot be replaced by any others. So yeah, you have these special potions that give you... Um, let's see... Like... This one, for example. They give you talent points. Specific talent points. And the vermilion and vitriol and so on and so forth, yeah. Mages, oh. Um, characters? All of these, formula, glossary, mages. Um, only rare individuals have the potential to become mages, and many of those with this potential are doomed to madness. Unless the individual in question, also known as a source, learns to control their power quickly, he or she may end up a half-insane slobbering oracle. That is why schools of sorcery were created, where talented children study for many years, acquiring knowledge and mastering magical skills. Because of their powers, mages age more slowly than ordinary people. They can extract magical energy from the four elements, which I guess are fire, air, water, and earth, I believe, um, transport themselves long distances and heal, as well as kill, in the blink of an eye. They have extensive scientific and political knowledge. In the latter respect, many mages are the equals of rulers. Yeah. So that's all interesting. Monsters? Uh, this is metagaming. I'm not going to get into this. So yeah, right now I'm defending Kaer Moran. Leo perished at the hand of the professor, the bandit's leader. I need to rest and then explore the fortress. I should make sure Triss and the other witchers are all right. Any surviving intruders? Well, I'll make them regret Leo's murder. Okay. So I'm down here. No... Loot? I guess not. Let's talk to Vesemir. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. Oh. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Almost clicked on the mouse. <laughs> that would have skipped the conversation. I need to keep my hands off it, off it during those. Um, so yeah, go upstairs and uh, see Lambert. And we need to make a potion for Triss because she's allergic to magic. Interesting. And I doubt any of these people would know how to cure with magic. I mean, all I've got is this force wave, or whatever. And, well, I don't know about the rest. Ground floor. Where is... that's Lambert, I guess. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. 
I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. I see. <laughs> Pointless. Um. Yeah, let's... Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. I'll find you later. Yeah. But, to be honest, you know, what are these people expecting? There's like four of them here. Taking care of an entire fort fortress. I mean, no wonder it's falling apart. And, you know, I guess they were trying to make an effort, still. Trying to train more witchers. Um, yeah. So what are these? Defending the common folk. Inspiring. Looks like a rooster. A gallant knight on a horse. And some common folk. Common folk. So yeah. This is what witchers do. There's more of these paintings here. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. I can't really tell what's going on. <laughs> Legs, torso. There's a guy there. A woman there. And a snake. And another snake, I guess, you know. Another picture of a witcher fighting a monster. Witcher George, slaying the dragon. So let's go upstairs. Find those ingredients. So the combat system is turn-based. So, ouch. So, you know, if an animation is initiated, the head is going to land. So, yeah, I need to be careful. But so do they. Transfer all. Mains. Beer. A pint of beer. In his pocket. What does it do again? Weak alcohol. No special effects. Well, it gets me drunk. <laughs> of course. Upper floor. Can't get. Oh, save. Remember to save. 